In today's video, we're going to give you a nice little mini scheme to suit and teach you how to use Jameis Winston in Madden NFL 16. Guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Cody Ballard. I like to make Madden NFL 16 videos, post them on the internet to try to help you guys uh, just shed some light, shed some insight on my uh, take on playing the game. Uh, and so uh, as I was looking here at the Buccaneers roster, I was kind of breaking it down, going through, just kind of seeing what I wanted to do. Uh, I got the idea for making a little scheme based around Jameis Winston's strengths uh, and his weaknesses. So I just want to go through and break him down here. This is going to be a new series we're going to do every week. We're going to break down our rookie uh, and kind of give you a mini scheme to go with them uh, and, and then also some the defensive side of the ball will probably try to do a little thing there so as well but uh, Jameis Winston really what we're looking at here 6'4 pocket presence big guy uh, like his size um, he's got 73 speed which is not breakaway speed but it's enough speed that if you need to scramble you can uh, agility and this is where you really get it. the acceleration 82 acceleration is pretty dang good for a quarterback um, and so you know this is going to be we're going to be able to run with him a little bit but not much so we're not going to be running like quarterback powers with him but we you know maybe sprinkle in the read option every now and then um, and also just some standard scrambles now to break down his, uh, uh, you know, spin move is decent. That's probably the move you're going to want to use with him. Um, but then also, want to uh, oh, also real quick, carrying whenever you run with James Winston, you need to be sliding uh, with that only 65 carry rating. Uh, but now let's get into his throwing stats, throwing stats here. Short accuracy is his best attribute uh, as far as the accuracy column. So you want to be kind of throwing those quick drags, quick underneath patterns. But another note about James Winston, he's got 95 throw power. Um, and that 95 throw power is going to do a good job for us uh, of helping us utilize him uh, in those nice aggressive catches uh, with the Buccaneers receivers. Now, under examining the you know the rest of the Buccaneer roster, we see they don't really have a speed back. Um, they've got some nice elusive backs, which you'll see here is the acceleration is pretty good. Um, the agility is nice, so that's kind of what we've got here. You know, not a ton of uh, not a ton of great stats uh, running back wise, except the spin moves are good. All of them catch pretty good. This guy Charles Sims has 80 catching, so you guys can check that out as well. Um, fullback, nothing real special here. Wide receiver, you've got a couple options here. Nice user catch, two six five receivers on the outside. Um, and then one other thing to note is Austin Safari, or uh, excuse me, Kenny Bell has 93 speed, um, but not too much things here to check out. Always check your catch and traffic ratings. You know you may have someone here. You see Renell Hall has 81 catch and traffic, so that's an interesting rating. Um, another thing is that this guy Austin Safarius Jenkins has uh, you know 87 catch and traffic, but his catch rating. Um, if I can find it, I think we got mixed up here. Here's his catch rating at 80. So you see, he's going to be a nice receiving option. Um, and then one of my favorites is uh, Myers with his 87 catch in traffic, uh, as well as Tavares, Tavares King. Um, so just going to go through all your options here and check out your best players. For my money, Russell Shepard is actually the best receiver uh, to slide into the third slot here. So we have pretty good size on the outside. Not a whole lot of game breaking speed though. Um, and then the tight end, like I said, we like we got a pretty decent tight end in Safari and Jenkins. So uh, what we're going to look to run is a, a one wide receiver, or excuse me, a one running back, three wide receiver, uh, one tight end set. Uh, and the set that I'm going to be utilizing uh, for Jameis Winston uh, is we're in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Uh, and the set that I really like to use uh, for quarterbacks like Jameis Winston who have a little bit of mobility, um, but at the same time, you know, they're not completely mobile, um, is this wide trips week. You can use this, but the one I'm going to recommend you use uh, is a shotgun split close. And the main play we're going to be breaking down today uh, that you're going to be able to use with Jameis Winston, and I really think it's a pretty good option, um, is the shotgun uh close and we're going to be going over the play fullback trail um, you could also use halfback wheel or excuse me we're going to go over halfback wheel today so halfback wheel is what we're going to utilize um, and the first thing to note about this is that we have a nice little quick pass um, to Jenkins out of the backfield if they're maybe playing a little zone blitz um, the cool part about this is if, if they blitz either side um, what you'll see here is if they blitz either side you have these flat releases and so you can use a good spin move rating of Doug Martin um, and things like that to really you know take advantage of that so we have the spin move uh, there to Martin and then again if they blitz you off the right edge um, you know you can still hit your nice quick passes over there uh, you, you want to use a you don't want to use a touch pass you want to use a low pass lead um, so we'll see here if we can get this set up but a heavy pressure blitz like this you want to use a nice low pass lead, or excuse me, uh, not a low pass lead, but a um, just a regular pass lead. You don't want to mess with it any, because if you me the more you mess with it, the worse off it is. And I think I got my. Let's see. 
Uh, you see this nice little quick pass, just a touch pass to the outside. Safarian Jenkins is going to be able to make that catch for you. So those are the two quick reads that you're going to have at the beginning of this play. The next thing we like to do is take um, Murphy here. You see he's on this corner route naturally. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place him on a little hitch pattern um, like so. And then uh, the, the next thing that we're going to do following that is we're going to take Jackson and place him on a drag pattern. Um, you could also place him on a streak pattern if you want. Um, you know, for and I'll break down the streak probably better for the Buccaneers. So we're going to use him on a streak. Um, but what you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to look to the the right. The cool part is against zone, you're going to have this nice little check down uh, to Murphy, uh, and that's really at the heart of what we're wanting to do. We're wanting to hit Murphy a lot, um, and he's going to be a nice route for us to do that. The next read. Um, on this play is a streak user catch to Jackson aggressive catch and basically this is just something that you can use um, now one thing I've been doing more of um, in the, you know since this uh, aggressive catch has kind of you know done really nice for me is kinda cutting him off and so you know if you hold L1 it's gonna lob it over the top so we'll just show you this if we just hold L1 it's gonna lob gosh dang it we had a issue with our we had an issue with our player Sorry, we forgot to hot route Murphy to that hitch route. But if we just lob it up, so hold L1, throw a high pass lead, you see it's going to throw a high pass up, and Jackson's going to have the opportunity to go up and make a catch. What I find more, in, you know, more successful is throwing a high pass lead and then clicking on and turning him around by holding the left trigger and going up for an aggressive catch. Obviously, in cover four, you're not going to be able to make that user catch, but it may be something like a cover two this may be a possibility so here we'll look at the cover two and Winston gave us a bad throw there's that 70's uh, deep accuracy uh, but uh, that's a this is really the and the primary thing for Jackson is if they're in something like this what, what and really you know I just break it down because I, I want to show every read but the primary thing for Jackson is if they're in a one-on-one -on -one situation you've got that aggressive catch over top and normally you're going to make that catch with Vincent Jackson. Um, and so that's why we like to have him in that position with a nice catch in traffic. And then the final read is this, this post route, this deep post route. It's going to take time. In the, you're going to need time in the pocket uh, for this play um, or for that route. But, you know, they're normally you're, you're going to be hitting all your other stuff. But this, um, I don't know what Evans was doing there. But basically, um, Evans is going to make a user catch and you're just going to L1 pass lead high I like the high pass lead and uh, I just you know I really like the high pass lead this year um, obviously you don't have to throw it with this specific route because of the fact that you have that nice hitch route so you could just throw a regular pass and cut it off and you're still going to be okay but I like the high pass lead uh, in most instances to give me some consistency uh, to what I'm doing and what you'll see here is the low pass lead could be uh, at risk for getting intercepted, whereas the high pass lead won't. There, I threw a low pass lead, and um, you saw that. So here, step in the pocket, hold L1, and now we have the high pass lead, and we just um, now we have the high pass lead, and so we were able to cut that off. And here we'll show you again. Hold that high pass lead, L1, click on, make that user catch. Evans can go up and make that play. Now, what we're noticing is that there's some instant inconsistencies with the aggressive catch um, this year in the fact that it's not super consistent. And so what we're going to try to do here is make a possession catch. But you see the possession, possession catch doesn't uh, make him go up for the ball. So you need to weigh your options uh, when you're doing this. But the key, and the, really the key to this you know, is is to get Winston to throw that that post route in a nice zone uh, situation. Normally, this is not going to be a man beater. Here, we'll show you against man. Cool part about the split closely against man is it's actually not that bad. Um, you see, this post route does a nice job of getting some separation and man coverage. So there's there's obviously a lot of opportunities for us uh, in man to man defense. Now, as far as cover two goes, because you have Murphy on this little hitch route. It's going to allow you, you know, you can kind of work that, but you see that guy kind of comes underneath like that. And what we're really going to be looking to do is hit 
um, Jackson in the seams against cover two. So here we're going to throw Jackson against the seams, cover two. We like to pass lead to the outside to get him a one-on-one. -on -one. And then uh, Winston's going to have to, and you see that kind of some of the issues with Winston's deep accuracy. To alleviate deep accuracy issues like this, what I like to do is take Jackson and put him on a drag. So if you want to take advantage of the user catching, you can do that. But also this drag route, what I love about it is it's still going to serve the same purpose. And we're still going to be able to hit Murphy against cover four and against cover three and against all those zone coverages. But now we're going to have a nice underneath option for the cover two uh, in Jackson as well as a man beating option. Uh, that he will provide for us. But here you see just a simple drag. Love the spin move back across my body um, as soon as I make that catch. The cool part about this as well is it's going to give you another read against man defense. Um, you know, most man defenses are going to do a good job against those streaks. Now we have this drag. And so this is just something small you can do uh, to really mix in. I really like it um, a little better than the user catch, but I feel kind of bad because I have a six foot five receiver and I'm running him on a drag. But as you see, there's that high pass lead. If you mix it in every now and then, just put him on a streak and you're going to make that user catch. You're just going to high pass lead it. Um, and you high pass lead this year by holding L1. Um, but do be aware that Winston is kind of inconsistent with high pass leads. Um, so there is certainly some risk and reward to this. Also out of the cover three, the cool part about this now is you're going to be able to click on and make that nice catch with Evans coming across. And you're not going to have to worry about high pass leading it because um, – Vincent Jackson, uh, Vincent Jackson's route is going to uh, do a nice job of getting a void in the cover three so you can step up in the pocket and then make a good pass. As you see, Winston's just kind of struggling with the deep pass because of his deep accuracy. Some other things I want to break down here real quickly is you have a nice little power O here. I like this run. Uh, with Doug Martin's spin move, you can really you know make this a very good running play in my opinion. Um, and, and the reason for that is because of his uh, his you know little quick cuts and it's a one cut style run so you're gonna make one cut and then go upfield normally your cuts gonna be back you're normally gonna be cutting this run back across the grain um, here we'll show you if you power it you're not gonna have as much success what I like to do is snap the ball run it and run it off almost like a zero one trap and then I cut it back across the grain right down the pipe for a quick six seven yards and that's really the pattern with this play and then off of your power O, you have this PAFL slide. What I like to do with the PAFL slide, you see Jackson's going to be on the slant route. What I like to do is take Evans, put him on a fade. And what you're going to see here is you have a quick read to Severian Jenkins out of the backfield. A nice little quick pass uh, against the zone. And then uh, against like a standard cover three zone, what you'll have here, you'll see this. Mike Evans is going to get in the seams, and you can make user catches to him with a bullet pass uh, to the inside. I really like that route for Evans. And then another thing that you're going to have is against man coverage, what you're going to see is Vincent Jackson's route is going to do a good job at beating man-to-man -man defense. See, it's going to roast it to the middle of the field, and we're going to be able to get some nice yardage um, in that situation. And then the next thing, the final read, is Murphy coming across. Now, what I sometimes, and normally what I'll do is, is take Murphy, put him on a, a hitch, just as a security valve. And the cool part is it makes Vincent Jackson's route get open more. But let me just show you this route uh, just so you can see. But against basic zone coverages like cover three or something, if you don't have Evans, you're going to have Murphy. Okay, so we're going to come across. Murphy is going to give a nice separation. But I don't really like that read against zone, to be honest. It gets a little too muddy for me. So I normally like to put him on a hitch pattern. So those are a couple of the plays that you can use from this. Um, these are all quick audibles in the Colts playbook. You see the HB wheel is a nice quick audible. So you can actually come out and some other stuff. But the key to all of this is to take your underneath passing with Jameis Winston this year. And also, uh, when Jameis Winston can step up in the pocket, he can actually make some big plays happen for you in the running game. Um, you know, he can actually, not big, big plays, but, you know, big enough that they're going to force the defense to stay honest. And in combination with your basic running game that you're going to be using with this nice spin move to the back uh, to the back side from the power row, um, this makes this a really difficult scheme to stop. Uh, and it teaches you really how to use Jameis Winston um, in Madden NFL 16 and also how to use the Buccaneers, uh, you know, how to use those nice face catches uh, to those big receivers and then also using Doug Martin's skills with that spin move. He's got his, you know, I think he's like an 88 spin move. It's, what it is, it's his best move. And what you'll see here 
it's, it's very difficult to stop. I think it's a very effective run. As you see, we are consistently, you know, gaping holes. And then off of your running game, then you can start opening up your passing game and maybe throw some user catches downfield to Mike Evans or take the underneath game depending on what the defense gives you. Um, it's all based on what the defense gives you here. But again, um, you know, what I really like is this quick pass. It's very interesting because of the backfield on the PAFL slide. But just a ton of options here. I think it's a really good play for you. I think this is a really good offense for you to be using. With